Hello and welcome to today's video. Today what we're going to be discussing are mutations or changes in the DNA. So basically remember, the thing about mutations is everyone makes mistakes, even the DNA that goes ahead and determines everything that happens in your body. So anyway, long story short, if you ever make a mistake, don't feel too bad about it because remember, everybody does it, even your DNA. Let's get started. Now mutations, by definition, are any change in the genetic code. And mutations can be one of the three as they occur. They can either be beneficial, so they benefit the organism. They could be harmful, or in some cases even fatal, leading to death. Or, most of the time what they are are considered silent or neutral, meaning that these actually have no effect at all. The first type of mutation we're going to discuss are gene mutations. And these are mutations that only affect one gene, or rather, just one base. So, a point mutation is a mutation that happens at a single nucleotide point in the DNA. And they have the following different effects. You could have a substitution, where one base is exchanged or subbed out for another. So think of it like, okay, we originally had an A, and now it's at C. So we just swapped one base for another. We could have insertion, where as a base is added or inserted into the line, or we could have a deletion. A deletion is where a base is removed or deleted from the chain. Now, I give you the following sentence. The dog ate the fat cat. Pretty easy to follow. How about this one? The dog ate the fat rat. I'll give you a hint. A mutation's occurred. This would be an example of a substitution. So if you take a look, we went ahead and subbed out the C in cat for an R. Now, you can still go ahead and understand the sentence, so a substitution mutation actually isn't that bad. However, other things can happen if you go ahead and have something like this. The ogatethifatrat. Well, that just doesn't make any sense at all. I wonder what happened. Some of you eagle-eyed viewers might have been able to go ahead and see it. The D from dog was actually deleted or removed. So if we went ahead and removed that, uh, by the way, DNA, it's always set up in sets of three. So considering that we got rid of the D up here, everything went ahead and shifted down one spot. So now we have the OG, uh, so the O shifted to the left, the G shifted, basically every letter shifted one hop to the left. Now how about this one? The dog tet if efatrati. Once again, in this case, a base was inserted, specifically the letter T. So, in between dog and eight, we now inserted a T right here. Now when we do that, Every letter has now shifted one place to the right from where they were originally located. So, once again, everything is moved down. And as you can see here, if you have a deletion or an insertion, these can cause some pretty hefty mutations that go ahead and affect every base after the mutation. Whereas substitution, well, nothing really changes. Just one letter, but you can still understand what's going on. So in this case, we originally had CTG, GAG, and afterwards we had CTG, GGG. This would be an example of a substitution. The A was swapped out for G. Now here, we originally had AUG, CGA, UUU, UAC, GGG. After the mutation, we had AUG, CGA, UUA, UUA, CGG, and then a G by itself. As you can see here, we have inserted the base adenine, or A. And down here, sure enough, we originally had AUG, CGA, UUA, AUC, sorry, UAC, GGG, AAA, and we removed the C, meaning everything shifted one down. So considering that everything shifted to the left one, we know this is a deletion. Now, insertions and deletions are very dangerous because they can cause something called a frame shift. Now, a frame shift goes ahead and affects every other base 
down the sequence. So think about the, uh, the sentences. If we had the substitution where it went from the dog ate the fat cat to the dog ate the fat rat, it still made sense. However, when we went ahead and had the insertion and deletion, the sentences no longer made any sense at all. So this is why frame shifts, insertions, and deletions are actually some of the most dangerous types of mutations you can have because it doesn't just affect one point, it affects everything down the line. It's true we're only changing at one point, but it has some serious side effects as it goes ahead and continues. Up next, we're going to go ahead and talk about chromosomal mutations. So now, we're not talking about just swapping out one base or having damage at one point. We're having damage at entire sections of DNA. So hundreds upon thousands of different DNA bases are being changed or afflicted. So, these are what we have. We have gene A, B, C, D, E, and so on and so forth. So, up top is the original, and then down low is what happened after the mutation. So if you go ahead and take a look, the C was removed. This is what we call a deletion. So a deletion is where any segment of the chromosome is removed. Up next, we originally had A, B, C, D, E, F, G. However, after the first mutation, now we have A, B, C, D, E, D, E, F, G. And then in the third mutation, it just kept going on. So now we have A, B, C, D, E, D, E, D, E, D, E. That's redundant. F, G. So the section D, E, as you can see here, continues to pop up. This is what we call a duplication, where one or more segment is repeated. Here, we originally had A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And after the mutation, we had A, B, C, D, E, F, I, H, G, J. So if you look at this segment right here, you'll notice that it's the same sequence, but in reverse. So part of the code went ahead and actually inverted or swapped or reversed itself. This is what we call inversion, where a linear stretch of DNA is reversed within the chromosome. Now, a telltale sign that you're looking at inversion is you'll always see this loop. So think of it like you're on a roller coaster. And if you're right here, you're inverted. You're upside down. The final type we're going to discuss is called translocation. So these right here are genes or chromosomes for two different traits. As you can see here, we have HIJ and N that we're looking at. So after the mutation, the N went from the lower chromosome up to the top, and the HIJ went from the top chromosome down to the lower. So what happened here is we had chromosomes that were not for the same trait go ahead and exchange bits of information. So let's say, hypothetically, this top one was for blonde hair and the one down low was for blue eyes. Okay, congratulations. Now after the mutation, you have blue hair and blonde eyes. Now, that's just an oversimplification of things, but I think you get the gist. So, I'd like you to go ahead and pause the video real quick here before we stop, and I'd like you to try and name all four mutations. Pause it now, if you want to give it a shot. If not, just keep listening and we'll go ahead and go over them. Okay, so A, if you go ahead and take a look, the B was removed, so that would be deletion. In example B, the B was doubled. This is what we would call duplication. Here, we originally had A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And after the mutation, now we have A, E, D, C, B, F. So these went ahead and were reversed or inverted. And our final one, we have two chromosomes here and they're exchanging information, and they are not for the same trait. So that would be a telltale sign of translocation. And that right there is going to go ahead and close up this video on mutations. Thank you very much for your time, and if you have any questions, please feel free to go ahead and contact your instructor. Now that that's out of the way, until the next video, you all go ahead and take care now. I'll see you in the next one.